हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट नाउ व्हाट अबाउट द सर्जिकल ट्रीटमेंट इन ग्रेव्स डिजीज सर्जिकल सॉरी सर्जिकल ट्रीटमेंट इन ग्रेव्स डिजीज actually in graves disease we have three types of treatment are available one we give in the graves graves disease we give anti thyroid drugs thyroid ablation is done with radioactive iodine 131 and thyroidectomy already anti thyroid drugs and also radioactive iodine therapy is done now surgery surgical treatment in graves disease in graves disease surgery is recommended when radioactive iodine therapy is contraindicated if radioactive iodine therapy is contraindicated then we can do surgery in the graves disease so sir indications of surgery in the graves disease indications of surgery are number 1 when radioactive iodine therapy is contraindicated that is if the patient has a confirmed cancer or if the patient has a suspicious thyroid nodules if the patient has a confirmed cancer or if the patient has suspicious thyroid nodules or in younger patients we cannot do radioactive iodine therapy if the patient has pregnancy and lactation we don't do radioactive iodine therapy if there are severe reactions to thyroid medications are seen or if the patient has larger goiter and these goiters are causing compressing symptoms of the uh, to the patient in such cases because they are causing such compressing compressive symptoms are already caused by the goiter so radioactive iodine therapy is contraindicated radioactive iodine therapy is contraindicated if the patient itself is not interested to go to through the radioactive iodine therapy so in such cases we do surgical treatment these are the indications if radioactive iodine therapy is contraindicated then we also have relative indications of surgery in relative indications of surgery radioactive iodine therapy is contraindic sorry um, indications of surgery are it is indicated especially in smokers with mild moderate to severe graves disease because in uh, graves of thalmopathy radioactive iodine therapy will cause progression in radioactive iodine sorry radioactive iodine therapy will cause progression of the graves disease so if a smoker with severe or moderate graves of thalmopathy it is better to do surgery then if the patient has desiring or rapid control of hyperthyroidism with rapid control if patient wants if patient desires of rapid control of hyperthyroidism along with being by being u thyroid or with chance of being u thyroid here the patient wanted to become hyper u thyroid by rapid control of hyperthyroidism so in such cases it is better to do a surgery if there is poor compliance to anti thyroid medications then surgery is indicated but the important thing in surgery is before surgery the patient should be u thyroid before surgery so before surgery we will have to convert the patient to u thyroid before surgery how do you make the patient u thyroid before surgery by giving anti thyroid drugs so anti thyroid drugs should be given to the patient and the patient should continue using these anti thyroid drugs up to the day of surgery also then what are the indications of total or near total thyroidectomy in surgery we generally do total thyroidectomy or near total thyroidectomy now what are the indications of doing total or near total thyroidectomy when if the patient with coexistent thyroid cancer if the patient has 
Graves disease and if he also has a cancer then obviously because there is a cancer we should not we do not want the cancer to spread or to uh, some of the malignant cells to be left in the thyroid gland so as a result we should do surgery should thyroidectomy should be done and also for those patients who refuse radioactive iodine therapy then obviously we should do thyroidectomy in them if they have severe graves of ophthalmopathy actually if a patient has ophthalmopathy and if you give radioactive iodine therapy then this ophthalmopathy worsens and you do not want to do anything which will uh, cause worsening of the disease so obviously we should not uh, do radioactive iodine in such cases we do total or near total thyroidectomy to the patient second if the patient is given an after giving antithyroid medications the patient has developed life threatening reactions so if patient has developed life threatening reactions after giving antithyroid medications like if the patient has developed vasculitis or a granulocytosis or if the patient has developed liver disease liver failure so due to all these causes we can do total or near total thyroidectomy right in except in all these cases whereas in remaining cases we can do a sub total thyroidectomy can be done and after doing sub total thyroidectomy we can leave 4 to 7 grams of remnant thyroid tissue in order to uh, for the production of thyroid gland so for remaining for all the remaining patients we do a sub total thyroidectomy leaving 4 to 7 grams of remnant if there is remnants of if actually there should be 4 to 7 grams of remnant but due to some reason if the remnants are less than 4 grams in such cases there is a the in in if the remnant is less than 4 grams then there is a recurrence rate is seen in 2 to 10% so obviously it is a less recurrent rate but around 40% of the patients will develop hypothyroidism because of uh, only less um, less grams of tissues left because of less because less grams of tissue is left so these patients might develop hypothyroidism thank you and thank you for watching